So I thought I'd do a couple more sketchbook tours. I haven't done one of these in like two years. I haven't done a video in about a year. And uh, yeah, I enjoy watching other people's sketchbook tours and hearing about them a little bit. And um, this is my version of that. So basically, um, these little sketchbooks that I really like, they're the... Uh, Stillman and Byrne premium sketchbook series. This particular one is a Delta series, but I also like, um, well, I think they've got the Zeta series that I really like, and there's another one. Um, they all have different colors. This one has a bit of a yellow tone to the page, which I don't prefer, but it worked well for this. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. I like to cover my sketchbooks with stickers that I come across, make. This one's a sticker that I sell in my shop. Um, yeah, so let's see. So, new sketchbook. And the first few couple pages here are me just kind of experimenting with the paper. This is the first time that I had gotten this. This I've been searching for the perfect small kind of pop pocket sketchbook for a really long time. I wanted something that had a thick um, paper that was watercolor paint appropriate, I guess, um, and that was smooth because there had been other watercolor paper ones that were that cold press, really textured, and I really dislike that. I can't stand having textured paper for watercolor. So. Yeah, so the first couple pages are just that, a little bit of a practice. As you can see, there's no, like this is... Um, forget what color, kind of pen this is. I think it's a Faber-Castell um, really thick pen, but it didn't bleed through at all, so that's great. A little bit of watercolor experimentation, and then I get into a bit of my travel stuff. So this is Manitoba. I went with my family in the summer of 2017. Um, my dad is from Manitoba, so it was just kind of a uh, visit back to see family and cousins and aunts and uncles, that sort of thing. Flight over. And then I did a couple studies of my little nephew puppy, Duke. <laughs> He's not a puppy anymore. Um, I started getting into using a white gel pen with my um, watercolor and black pen sketches. I really like that effect that it has there as well. Uh, then I did a camping trip to Algonquin Park with a couple friends and I did a couple studies while I was there as well. I kind of hate calling them studies. It sounds really pretentious, doesn't it? <laughs> but I did a couple studies. And then I had an art show in the distillery district. Um, I do art shows there once a year and I'm always sat in front of these particular doors so I really wanted to paint them. And then this is where we were staying while we were in Toronto was the Riverdale area. So a nice little Toronto skyline. Again this is the distillery district, another view of another section of that place. Um, I had just gotten a new palette of watercolors and I was testing them out. Not my favorite, I will admit. Um, after using them for a little while, I, yeah, they just have, they just don't have a very rich quality and they don't blend very well, so I wouldn't recommend them if you're looking for watercolor recommendations. <laughs> Then I took a little trip to Vancouver, to BC, and I did some nature studies while I was there. I kind of, I had never really attempted to do these sort of like flat lay um, scenes before, I guess. Like before, obviously you can see I just would do kind of one-off images, but this one was me taking a few different items and putting them together. And I also kind of got into the idea of writing little blurbs in. I like that sort of cross between 
visual and written diary, I guess, or journal. And then this one, I took a little bit more time on this one. I really enjoyed doing this. And of course, British Columbia has lots of lush, beautiful nature. This is at the Stanley Park Seawall in Vancouver. And this is um, a class trip I took to Montreal. I have more pictures later on, but this is just kind of uh, one of the paintings that I really enjoyed at a, the gallery in, in Montreal that we went to. And then <laughs> we'll just skim past that pretty quickly. Um, and then um, I do a show twice a year in Toronto called the One of a Kind Show and Sale. And one of my traditions while being there started with uh, this painting, I guess, actually, was that every morning I like to do a little warm up sketch in the morning. And on Instagram, I will get people's input on what I should paint and vote, get a little vote going on it or whatever. It just it kind of passes the time through at the show. One of the shows is 11 days, the other one is five days. So they can get a little bit long and they can drag sometimes. So this just passes the time a bit. So I did that one, it was my first day. Then I did a little verse, feeling inspired. And then I did some more bunnies. Um, this was in, uh, actually on Easter last year. So I was just feeling the bunny spirit. And also I love painting bunnies. And then I did a little bear. Moose, this is maybe my favorite one from that show that I did. Really enjoyed that. And then I did a little Easter beaver because, you know, in Canada, we don't have an Easter bunny, we have an Easter beaver. And then a little end cap there. And then again, the information and some more stickers. <laughs> 